Okay, um, back in the car, we are at uh, a oh. mega filling station here in uh, Bauchi. We are about getting fuel to um, be on our way to uh, Yankari. Now. Right, we've just arrived uh, in Yankari nice. in reserve. This is the entrance. It has to be this side. We're here at the Yankari Game Reserve. We're about to go and register with the next two. So, I'm going with my friends. Uh, okay, we're at um, the game reserve. But we've just been told that. Uh, Adults pay a thousand five hundred naira, which is roughly about uh, nine, eight dollars or something to get in. And we're about six or four, so uh, the others are inside trying to sort that out. We've been told also that um, getting inside there is a store that is expecting uh, eight or ten people in the truck. The truck to go around the uh, reserve, and uh, if you want to swim or take a swim, adult is 500 naira. And uh, I think for the truck, it's about 8,000 for 10 people, which is not bad. Uh, we have about six of us, so it will be fun. Hey, this is this is Dwai. This is the second gate of the reserve. We just came in from we just came in from there, and we are presently here now. We're about to enter. We we're supposed to sort the tickets in the other one we got because we couldn't pay at the other gate. Uh, we wanted to use uh, the card, and they didn't have their uh, machine there, so they asked us to come inside. That's why we're here now. We're going to use that to pay here, then we can go inside office now and uh, <laughs> sort things out that's Talfa the crew Tosh himself <laughs> you want to come here you can book ahead of time and it will be reserved for you the place is beautiful I actually thought when I, on my the impression I had in my head Coming here was that it's going to be like a dilapidated place, but I'm amazed that the place is cool, it's beautiful. Yeah, I think we're going to have fun. I think so. I think the first year, I think I should come and go in, in the picture. Now she go, now she go, now she go, bro. Yeah, you know, like I said, Hakai. Eh? Yeah, come out and get me a hatch to go to. This big wheels. Oh, yes. But this is not very popular. In all honesty, I'm truly, truly blown away by how beautiful this place is. Um, you know, when you see or read some things about the place, you start thinking, no, oh, the government's not taking care of the place, the place is dilapidated. I'm telling you, the place is awesome. This is a place I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to call my family because uh, you, it's a place for you to just come and hang out, chill out, maybe a, week, a weekend or something. Um, I want to implore Nigerians if you have the time, just come. How much is it? At the, at the gate, there it's 1,500. Uh, when you come in, the kids, 500. But when you come inside, you have uh, the facility like the pool, going around the safari. I think they say 8,000 for 10 people in a truck. So imagine they're just they're paying 800 now, which is goddamn really, I wouldn't say cheap, okay for most people to pay. And um, uh, lastly, you can, like I said, book ahead of time. They get your room ready before you get here. And uh, like I, what we saw in there, it's just awesome. Awesome. I'm going to keep showing us how the place is as we go. Because uh, there's a truck. You can see a truck somewhere in the video there behind. I think that's one we were taking for the uh, tour. We've been told that uh, we can go to the... Uh, 
go, go right now to the pool and just wait. Because instead of waiting for them to finish the mosque, because the drivers actually went to the mosque over there till 2.30. So we asked to come back to 2.30. Now it's like um, quarter to two. So the first five minutes, we want to take it and go pool and see um, how the pool is. If you take some pictures and also show how beautiful the place is. I'm uh, beside the pool, uh, the Yankari, the warm, warm spring. Sometimes uh, I, I, I think a lot of us leave out some things that are... We don't see the things that are of value that we have. We tend to believe these things are out there. You know, like there's a saying in Africa that what you're looking for in Sukutu is in your Shukutu. What actually means is that sometimes you're looking for something which you already have, but you seem to think it's somewhere else. Look at how beautiful this place is. This is a place you can come with your family to relax, have fun. Then we all seem to travel to Italy, traveling to Italy, England and all that. When we go, we don't even go on holidays. We actually go shopping. That's what we go doing. We don't really go to relax. This is something we can achieve here, just here. How many hours from Abuja? You're there. And it's awesome. Just an awesome place. Look how beautiful the water is. Clean, clear. Let me show you. We're set to go. We, the uh, guide, uh, tour guide was asked to come and tell us that we'll we be leaving here by 3.30. It's uh, 3.22. So we're all getting ready. All those that went to the water are coming out. Uh, we're ready to go.
Anyway, we are on our way to the caves that was said to have been discovered by one uh, Mohammed, he said. But it was named by uh, a man called Marshall, a white man in those days. These caves were actually places where the indigenous were hiding those days when during the slave trade and when they had a war between the communities. And it was, uh, sorry, it was a hiding place for them as we were taking us to Togo and see. The what? Okay. The caves uh, we learned here that there are 59 in number. They're just going to show us just one. Behind me are the caves, and uh, these are where people were hiding those days. I entered a few minutes, but I think you'll see in the video. I was inside. It's amazing. I'm glad I'm here. I think it's something I need to revisit and really do a proper walk around. Uh, it's amazing that we've been going through this cave thing for a pretty long time now. We've not exhausted them. Just nice to know your country. I know that the country is beautiful as it is. Forget what. Alright. So I wanna ask the crew now, everyone to tell me their experiences on this trip. So what do you think? How was it for you? It was great. It was great. <laughs> Guys are not smiling. <laughs> so uh Chairman Yaiki, how was it for you? Yes, how is it for you? You know, nature is nice. So the site was nice. beautiful. The site was beautiful. Alright, right. thank God for the sightseeing. Alright. Well, you just heard from the crew. It was a nice one. <laughs>